If you don't know about Notebook LM yet from Google, then I am thrilled to be the first one to tell you about this. Welcome back to the channel where we discuss the creative uses of AI. And if you have written a book, if you've done a course, if you have any ideas on anything, if you have a website that you'd like people to get really, really excited about, I have got a tool for you that is absolutely free, that is going to blow your mind. That's why this video has to be short, because as soon as I show it to you, you're going to say, I don't want to hear anything else you have to say. I'm going there now to play with this. Just show me the nuts and bolts right now. Stop messing around. So that's what I'm going to do. So you go to notebooklm.google.com and you're going to create a new notebook. Bob, why am I even doing this? You're familiar with chatbots, right? You know, chat GPT, the rest, where you type in a thing and it gives you an answer back. You're having a conversation with it based on the knowledge that that chatbot is trained on. A big trend in business and really other sectors is to create chatbots based on information that is personal to you or your business. For example, a chatbot based on the information on your website or a chatbot based on your book or your course or anything else that you'd like people to know about. And it's really simple to do that. You'll upload the information that you want this chatbot trained on and it will just instantly know it. And then you can have a conversation with it just like you would chat GPT or any of these other chatbots and learn from this. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about and then the amazing feature that is going to blow your mind. Let me give you an example. I'm going to upload a PDF of a book I wrote before I started this AI stuff. It was the last thing I threw out there into the personal development industry. I haven't even published it yet, but it's about neuroplasticity and brain rewiring. So I've uploaded this information here, and in just a few minutes, this chatbot's gonna chew on this a little bit, and now it's gonna know everything it needs to know about it. It's gonna give me a summary right here, and then I'm one click away from generating frequently asked questions. I'll start that process right now. You can do a study guide, I'll start that process right now, table of contents, timeline, briefing doc, and so on. It even gives you questions that you can ask the chatbot here if you can't think of anything else. Otherwise, you can just talk to it right here, like, what is this book about? So here's the answer to the question, and you'll notice that not only does it give an exhaustive answer, but it has these little numbers here which reference exactly where in the document we got those answers. So you can click on any of these and you'll be taken over here to the actual part of the PDF, of the book itself, where the chatbot got that information. If I close the chat up here, you'll see that it's generated our study guide, and the study guide creates questions and gives you an answer key. If you wanted to train, for example, a group about your book or your course, and you didn't want to come up with all the questions, you can do it right here. It gives you the questions and the answers. Here's the frequently asked questions document that it generated. What is brain rewiring and why is it important, etc. All generated automatically. But the most exciting feature is this deep dive conversation to host, English only, click generate, and it's going to create a podcast interview hosted by the two most enthusiastic people in the world who love whatever it is you're talking about. So if you've got a book you want to promote, if you've got an event coming up, if you've got an idea you'd like to convince the world is cool, you upload it. And this is going to create an audio podcast that you could use to communicate the idea in a very engaging and unique way. And it really only takes a couple of minutes for them to generate this thing. Now, the lengths of these podcast interviews, anywhere from five to 15 minutes in my experience, I imagine is based on the amount of information that goes into the thing. There's no opening music or commercials or anything weird like that, but there are actually places in the recording where you could put those things in a logical way. So if you wanted to create your own show out of this, I don't know why you couldn't. Of course, the geek that I am, I'm already thinking how I can do voice conversions on these and create unique voices so that I don't sound like everybody else who decides to use these two to create the same kind of podcast that I'm talking about. Now, in this case, I only uploaded that one PDF to train this notebook, but if I wanted to add more, I could click on Add Sources, and I've got 50 different sources I can add. I've only used one. So if I had interviews that I'd already done on this book or any other supplemental things that I wanted to add in addition to the book to make all of this content more interesting, I would add it here. Also, in addition to the notes that are created when you generate an FAQ or any of these other documents, you can add your own if you have something specific that you want to add that isn't covered here. You just click on add note and then once you click in here you've got basically a word processor and you can add whatever you'd like. So it's come up with a 14 minute recording. Let's just listen to the first part of it. All right so you've been asking about this whole brain rewiring thing and how to actually use it to get stuff done. Not just like the feel good stuff but real change you know. Exactly. No sugar coating today. We're going deep on this. Straight from Bob Doyle's Evolve Your Excellence handbook. Stuff he usually reserves for his paying clients but we're giving you that inside track. Love it. No fluff, just straight to the good stuff. And one thing that really grabbed me, Doyle does not let us off easy when it comes to why just thinking positive so often backfire. Nope, he cuts right to it. His big argument is that- Let me jump ahead. Did Doyle give him some magic affirmation to repeat or something? It wasn't about magic. It was about awareness and conscious choice. 
So unbelievable. Just a real conversation that sounds totally natural. Now, I will say it's not 100% perfect, but I'll give it 98%. I had one instance where instead of the person laughing or saying yes, it would say affirmative response, affirmative response. So a little peek into how the AI is working. But for the most part, it's amazing. And it certainly gives you source material if you have any kind of editing ability. Another way you can create a notebook, thus all these chat bots and the interview, is just by entering a website. So if I click on New Notebook, I can add a website. I can add any website here that I'd like. There's this ice cream store I like called the Salt and Straw. they got these really unique flavors. So if I wanted to create a notebook on the information on this website, and there is a lot here, I would just copy the URL here. Click on insert and let it do its thing. You can see that it's already searching the website. It's come up with the summary. Now I can generate all those same documents and I can generate a deep dive conversation right here. It came up with a six minute, 33 second recording. Let's check out the first part of that. Have you ever noticed how like salt and straw? It's not just ice cream. It's like a whole thing. Yeah. Like you see those lines out the door and the, you know, Instagram worthy cones mm -hmm. and the flavors that are like smoke chatter. Wait, what? Right. Today we are scooping into salt and straws marketing. To find out how they turned, you know, frozen treats into this whole experience. Yeah, and we're like going right to the source, like their actual website. <laughs> okay, okay. Because it is surprisingly revealing. Oh, okay. You know how they use those phrases like uh, made for melting mm. or um, ice cream that demands your attention. Okay. In just a few minutes, that's created. Are you kidding me right now? So sure, your book, your course, your website, but what if you just had some crazy idea that you had a problem articulating? Like, let's say you had a story idea and you wanted to pitch it to somebody and everybody you tell goes, ah, eh, okay, whatever. Let's just go to chat and generate some crazy idea and let it really expand on it. Come up with an invention idea that will change the way people understand one another in communication. The device should be a wearable, be solar powered, be tied to the the user's brain via some kind of neural net that is implanted painlessly in various offices around the country. Dr. Ben Kindling invented the device after having a fever dream after a visit to Peru. This device has already saved an approximate 37.2 thousand marriages in the tri-state area alone. All right, now I'm gonna let chat just create this whole long thing, and if it's not long enough, I'm gonna make it longer. I see it's created something called the empathy link. All right, I'm gonna say expand on this even further. All right, now we're getting something that's a little bit longer. Oh, this is good. This is good. This is perfect. Okay, this is <laughs> it's going on for a really long time. What have I done? Okay, finally done. I'm just going to copy this all into the clipboard. Go over here, go to new notebook and copied text and just paste it here and click on insert. I'll go ahead and up here and name it empathy link. We've already got the summary. We can generate all these documents. Let's get this deep dive conversation going and see what these two have to say about the empathy link. Okay, six and a half minutes. Let's listen for a little bit. Empathy link. Yeah, you can't seem to escape it these days, can you? It's everywhere. Tech blogs are going crazy for it. They're saying it's going to fix everything. Relationship experts are practically making it a requirement before couples therapy. Mm -hmm. And I even heard someone on the news talking about it as a possible tool for international diplomacy. 37,000 marriages saved in like just one small area. It seems a little too good to be true. It's definitely caught people's attention. For sure, and you clearly agree because you sent us a ton of articles about it, so let's dig in. Yeah. What exactly is Empathy Link? So at its core, it's this really interesting mix of brain science and some seriously advanced tech. Basically, picture a device, thing like a smartwatch, kind of sleek, paired with this tiny little sensor and that gets implanted in your brain. Hold on, implanted, like a grain implant. Yeah, but it's actually way less scary than it sounds. Like the articles mention it takes like 15 minutes, super quick procedure done at these, I guess they're calling them empathy centers popping <laughs> up all over. And the implant itself, it's made to like connect to the parts of your brain that control emotions, communication, all that. So okay, okay, I know, you're, you've left by now. You're already going, you're not hearing me anymore. You're over there generating your own podcast. So look, I'll just, formally in this and say hey isn't this cool i know you're not here you're generating podcasts i'd love to hear one uh, all right well look if this is the kind of stuff you love to learn about i don't know why it wouldn't be because this is going to occupy the rest of your day then why not subscribe to this channel this very channel because this is the kind of stuff we talk about all the time if you subscribe now i will not look for you i will not pursue you but if you do not i will look for you i will find you and i will